So you guys want to see the most useful camping items that we use every time we go RVing? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Carrie. This is Mark. This is the Art of RVing. We're at one of our favorite camping supply stores, but we wanted to show you some of our favorite items that we use every time we go camping. For new, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed, thanks again. We use a lot of this. This is the concentrated RV toilet treatment, and I just like it because they're singles. It's very handy. I put it right by the toilet, unscrew it, boom, done. Can you tell what this is? All right, so this just fits on top of your fan in the bathroom, and that gives you a chance like to open your vent up when you're driving. It's fantastic, and also when it's raining, this is very, very handy, easy to put on. So we always use an RV sewer hose that's a 15 footer is to get a better RV sewer line. Don't get a cheap one and don't cheap out because you are going to be sorry about that. One thing that we had to have are these step rugs. I know different RVs have different steps. Ours curve. Um, but even for our other camper, when they were straight, this just helps you grip so much better. You don't feel like you're going to fall, which we've both done. I fell coming out, <laughs> he fell coming in. Yeah. Um, and plus it helps with the dirt. Yeah. So um, I highly recommend these. Of course, everyone knows you have to have a specific water hose, but the most important thing is we got the longest hose possible and we also got two hoses <laughs> just in case. Very, very important. Something else that you may want to consider is a filter. We don't really drink a lot of the water that comes through our camper, but we still use one. This might not be the best one, what do I know? But at least it's a it's a water filter and we use a 90 degree fitting to put on it. So it takes the pressure off that fitting outside the camper. So this is something that we do use. We replaced the shower head that was in the camper with this one, um, the Oxygenics. It saves water. It has a little, little button that you can turn off the water. So to kind of conserve water while you're soaping up or whatever. Um, and the water pressure is much better. Mm -hmm. So we highly recommend this. I want these sheets. I can't So I'm always very concerned about the tires on the RV because they're very, very important. So I always cover my tires. You've got to keep your tires covered and buy a good quality tire cover. You can never be too careful with your tires. Tire covers. Okay, this is the stove topper and cutting cutting board, and what's so cool about it? It has the little gripper on the back. It goes on top of the burners and gives me so much more counter space. Our camper has zero counter space. It plus, it makes it just look nicer. Okay, this is a big road Alice, and it's probably old school to some people, which it is. But sometimes you're on a road that you lose your Wi-Fi connection, uh, Google Maps won't come up, it just spins and spins and spins. So it helps to have a paper copy. Large scale, easy to read, it is cumbersome. Use Google Maps when you can, Apple Maps, whatever. But this is nice to have just in case. This is a set of dishes mm -hmm. that we use every time we go camping. Um, cute little campers, Lana, Mel and I, they're holding up really well. I have to say we've had them now about two years. We use them every time. Mark doesn't like to eat on paper, so he washes the dishes and we use these. Okay, this is a screen door grill. It's adjustable, so it'll go on whatever size you have. We have this for when we take our dog, Oscar. He can't like scratch, <laughs> like scratch on it <laughs> and uh, tear up the screen. Yeah. Okay, so what I have here is I have a surge protector. This is the one we use, and I know that they've got some a lot better ones, and we probably, hopefully we'll never get bit because we are kind of cheaping out buying this one, you know? Uh, any comments below of anybody who's used this with bad experiences or good experiences, let me know. We have a dog bone, so actually two dog bones. So we need one that goes from 50 to 30 amp, and one that goes from 30 amp to 50 amp. That go like from 50 to 110 and 30 to 110. So you've got to have a dog bone or you'll be sorry. <laughs> But there's something you need to know about a battery box is that when we bought our trailer used, there were no holes in the bottom just like these are. And I drilled holes in the bottom of this because when I got my trailer, this box was completely full of water with the battery sitting in it. <laughs> so immediately I drilled holes. So something for you to think about. Okay, so this trailer aid, this is what we use, except that I don't use this, but I do believe in this because my other jack would not jack up my uh, dual tires. This is the easiest way to change your tire. I, I'm, I'm convinced. 
And what I use is I just use a, a, a ramp, like an oil changing ramp that you put in front of your tires. And I just take one with me and throw it in the back of my truck. And that way, and it gets higher than this one. Okay, so I prefer one of these little rocking chairs. Mark likes the kind of chair that you lay out, you know, prop your feet up. But I just kind of like to rock when I'm at the campsite. So here I am rocking. <laughs> Let me say it. I like it. I'm better. So tell us what you guys thought. Um, do you have favorite items you use? Do you ever come to this store? Do you agree with the items yeah. that we like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Please yep. hit that like button. Yep. We really appreciate it. It helps us a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're new, thanks again. I want these sheets. I have campers on. Mm.